Hello everyone and welcome! My name is Jeff and today we are going to have some fun playing Magic. And the fun thing that we are trying to do today is we are playing a deck called Elemental Tribal. We are going tribal with all of the elementals and there's a quite a surprisingly surprising number of them but you kind of have to go around about ways of getting them so first off we do have a few of the horses all of the horses the new ones are tribal the biggest downfall with all the horses is that they each required two mana uh, of a certain color to make them work so we had the vine mare we have lightning mare in this one and pretty fantastic horses if they come down on the battlefield uh, it, and they're pretty good. So our main way of getting every all of our elementals bigger is we have Metallic Mimic, which will come down as Tribal. Uh, it would give counters to all the elementals coming down. We have a Vanquisher's Banner on the top end. And then mostly we're just kind of hoping to run into our Radiant Destiny. And uh, so the really fun thing that we can do with this deck is how we're going to be getting elementals. So first off, we have our Tillinali Summoner. So one way to win with this deck is that we just bring out a Tillinali Summoner. We have tons of way to create extra mana with this. Uh, Catalyst Elemental is an elemental and create two red mana. And if we have a couple ways to pump up these elementals that come down. So when element when Tillinali Summoner attacks, you may pay X and red. If you do, you create X11 one, one red elemental creature tokens that are tapped and attacking at the beginning of your next end step. Exile those tokens unless you have the city's blessings. So we can pay you know x amount if we pay 10 then we get nine elementals that come down if we have a metallic mimic then all those come down with a counter and they become two two attackers uh and so super powerful right there if we have radiant destiny down as well all of a sudden they become three threes you know and so we're just trying to like double up on some of these abilities and hopefully we're just going in swinging in enough that uh, we can do well enough and then these tokens stay if we get enough to uh, keep them after the city's blessing so that's kind of our goal is we're going to swing in with Tillinali for as much mana as we as possible hopefully have some sort of you know metallic mimic or radiant destiny of Inquisitor's banner down on the battlefield before we swing in and then we just keep those tokens if we don't kill them that turn to swing in for the next turn or we can do another thing too. We have we are running two of the Sylvan Awakening, and we can turn all of our lands into two two elementals. This is another reason that we are running a lot of mana creatures here. You know, with the Catalyst Elemental, Servant of the Conduit, and Llanowar Elves. The main thing is that if we can tap these down instead of their lands, we have more elementals to come into the battlefield, which is not amazing. They don't re-enter the battlefield as elementals, so the metallic mimics don't the metallic mimics don't give more triggers, but the they do get the triggers off of Radiant Destiny or Vanquisher's Banner. So we're going to be swinging in with three threes, sometimes four fours, because we're wanting to go a little bit late game with those with that trigger there, uh, and then also we have Nissa Elemental. So she creates an elemental land as well that's a 5-5, five, five, but when we're using it, it'll be a 6-6, six, six, maybe a 7-7. Seven, seven. Multani is also an elemental, and so we're just trying to use every elemental that you don't typically see here, finding some ways to ramp into our stuff, kind of prolong the game, and get extra mana for Tillinani Summoner. And this deck is surprisingly good when it goes off. I, I don't think I've actually lost with it yet. Uh, I'm going to knock on wood real quick for that one, because... I don't think the deck is amazing, amazing. I, I will definitely probably lose here and there. But uh, if we if we keep the Tillinali Summoner on the battlefield and get up to the enough mana, then this deck just goes insane. So I really hope we can make that happen. Let's see. Let's get into the gameplay. And here we go. So here we are in Arena Standard, and we are playing Elemental Tribal. And oh my goodness, this deck is so much fun. So... MDG Arena just came out with their competitive free play, uh, where you play two out of three games, and I'm interested to hear what you guys think. I actually have been enjoying this form, so we're going to keep this hand. We're, I've been enjoying this form of MTG Arena, where I've not been having to... Like, I, I, I think the gameplay goes faster when you only play one game. It's just, for me, it's a little bit more fun. But I want to hear in the comments down below what you guys think. So we're going to play Rootbound Clareg. We're going to play Servant on the Conduit. We want to hold back on the Tillinali Summoner until we're hoping they don't have too much removal in hand. I mean, we're playing against Mono Green, it looks like, so far. But this way we can get Gift of Paradise down on the Plains. 
create two mana sources for any color. So we're going to play the planes. We are actually... Let's see, do we tap down with the servant or do we just go attacking? So if we if we play it, and then we can also play the Till and Ollie Summoner and be able to start swinging in with that. So I think we do. So we are going to tap for green here. Play Gift of Pir Paradise onto the planes. Gain three life. And then play Till and Ollie Summoner. And so next turn, we have quite a bit of mana to be swinging in with the Summoner. We, I believe we can actually create the city's blessing as well. And so we can make our board pretty massive pretty quick. Let's see what the opponent has to say about it, though. Pass the turn. Opponent plays a planes. All right, so not mono green. They play spore swarm, so creating a lot of tokens. So unfortunately, that means we'll probably kill the Tillinelli Summoner if we go attacking here. And we may want to keep it. So we are going to play Mountain. Sell the Wreck Edge doesn't do a lot here. So we could swing in with Tillinali, make him trade here, and we can create five tokens, get the City's Blessing. We could go attacking and create just a wide board here, or we can just start playing some more stuff and make it bigger. All right, so MGG Arena is added on the rope as well here, it looks like. So we're going to play Catalyst Elemental. We're going to go attacking with just the Servant. And if they want to uh, double block, we are fine with that. But we'll hit them down to 18 and pass the turn. Opponent plays a forest. Song of Fraley. Sorry, they have tons of mana now. Six mana. All right, so opponent plays Tender Shoot Dryad. They have the city's blessing. So not very good for us here. We can swing in for quite a bit. And then maybe catch them with a Settle the Wreckage on a later turn. The thing is, they don't ever run in with the Tender Shoot Dryad. So I think what we do is we just play the Forest. So we can create eight tokens right now. So let, let's go for it. So we're going to go to combat. We're going to attack in with Till and Ollie Summoner. All right, so we're going completely tap down, swinging in with eight of these elementals. So opponent definitely trades with a Tillinali. They're going to block the others. We bring them down to 11. And I, I really don't know a way out of this. Like once they get a Tender Shoot Dryad, the, the thing is if they are swinging in with him, then we could settle the wreckage. And so maybe next turn we swing all out again, trying to get them to, kind of trying to bait them in. I want to play Spore Swarm. They have all of the spores. Uh-oh, all right, we might just be dead here. So opponent hits us down to seven. They get another Sapperling. Vanquisher's Banner. Would have been fun before. I think we play Unclaimed Territory. We play it on Elemental. We play... Lightning Mare. And then we just have to hold up the Settle the Wreckage, so pass the turn. So there is one thing that we can do. So we have seven guys here. If they go swinging with just about everything, our Vanquisher's Banner actually saves us. So we Settle the Wreckage. Uh, opponent went all in, so we settle their wreckage, and they get like half of their deck out of with lands. Uh, and Vanquisher's Banner, I think, gives us the win unless they have a Spore Swarm. But oh man, that was that was pretty cool. Opponent gets all of the lands. Their their deck is down to thirty six cards. So. Uh, let's see what they have in hand. If it's a Spore Swarm, they survive. Opponent plays Angel of the Dawn. Alright, so Sun Petal Grove, we'll play that. We will play Vanquisher's Banner on Elemental. And so 
We have 14 damage here. Yeah, so we go all out attacking. The only thing I was worried about was them having to settle the wreckage, but now we have the game. So, <laughs> uh, opponent definitely shouldn't have gone all out attacking there uh, because it was their demise, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> settle the wreckage coming in for the win, and yeah. We won with Elemental Tribal. I like it. Alright, so here we are in Arena Standard, and we are playing Elemental Tribal. And hopefully we draw into the things that we need this time. Unfortunately, I'm not playing full four ofs. Ooh, bad hand, mulligan. Alright, so all three colors. And two of every color, so this is actually pretty good. We have Ramp and to sell the Wreckage, so if it's a creature deck... We just have to survive until Settle the Wreckage, so we'll keep this. Radiant Destiny, we're going to put on bottom. We need to have some sort of creature, hopefully Llanowar Elves or something like that. Mountain isn't bad, so we play Sheltered Thicket. We play Inspiring Vantage past the turn. Opponent has two Memorial to War, so is this like a land destruction deck? That could be pretty interesting. We are going to play Sun Petal Grove. And I prefer to put Gift of Paradise onto a basic. They can destroy what we put that on. Let's get down Land and War Elves. It gives us more options for actually tapping with that two mana next turn. They play Trove of Temptation. All right, so Brass's Bounty deck. Uh, this this looks pretty interesting. All right, so we're going to play Forest. We are going to tap down here. We play Gift of Paradise onto the Forest. Gain three life. And it, it put me attacking for me. MTG Arena has some interesting things that they're doing. Uh, that attacked automatically for me there. That's interesting. All right, Haphazard Bombardment. This is a pretty fun deck. So when Haphazard the bom Bombarda enters the battlefield, choose four non-enchantment permanents you don't control. And so they are Haphazard Bombarding our lands. And so this is definitely the land destruction deck. They took, they didn't take our Gift of Paradise uh, because it's random. So actually we're lucky there, which if we get into this Multani, we can play the Multani, and so then if they put lands to our graveyard, it actually doesn't hurt us. So our biggest blowout is removal spell or another Haphazard Bombardment, where they can put a mul counters on Multani as well. But Multani actually uh, is good against this deck. Oh no! Alright, so they cut, so they have to have something else. They spring to mind. Uh, they didn't... All right, so they're just trying to get ribbons in the graveyard. All right. They're destroying land. We are fine with that. We're actually going to put Evolving Wilds out. We're going to crack it right away, put more land in our graveyard, make Boltani bigger, try to increase this clock any way we can. We need another Plains. We attack in, bring him down to 11, pass the turn. Opponent has City's Blessing, so... They're going to be able to destroy another land. Hour of Devastation doesn't kill us. Doesn't kill Multani, at least. Let's see if they have something else in hand. Alright, so they have a second Hour of Devastation. So we'll let that resolve. And unfortunately, I don't want to be putting two more lands to our hand. So we're going to have to just pass the turn. Opponent kills our Gift of Paradise. Now we have a Skizik. So we're going to play Mountain. Let's see. We know that they're going to kill a land again next turn. They're, they're going to destroy... So they don't destroy Shelter Thicket without the Memorial. But I think that we just have to swing in and hope here. So we're going to swing in with Skizik. He will die, unfortunately... And see, MTG Arena is attacking for me again there. Maybe it's just letting me know they're tapped down so I don't miss it. Oh, oh, Trove of Temptation is making me swing. That's what it is. Gotcha. 
Star of Extinction. Destroying the land. Alright, Rupan Craig, Lightning Mare. We play Lightning Mare. And we may actually survive this. We have to see if they draw into more stuff. But we have a two turn clock. Ah, Sifter Worm, come on. Alright, leave our land alive so we can settle the wreckage. Vanquisher's Banner. So I think that we just pass the turn here. So I have to attack. Oh man, we had... This deck is super fun that this guy, this guy has. Land destruction with a lot of ramp and just having good stuff. Um, what we're going to do, I think, on this time is we're going to Multani. We're going to return the land so it doesn't get destroyed. Not that it does much for us here, but we want to have two red mana available. Opponent swings in for seven. We go down to 16. They get more treasure. They have... A pretty massive uh, ribbons next turn. Opponent plays mind. They draw two cards. Sacking their black mana so they don't have the cut to ribbons next turn. We play Rootbound Craig into Catalyst Ele Elemental. And I mean, we have Settle the Wreckage. No, because we have to swing in with them. So, I, I think that we're going to go ahead and scoop this up now. I, I can't see a way out of this with how many memorials they have. They have another cut to ribbons. So, they have us in two turns regardless. We'll draw one more turn. Though, I don't think there's anything we can get. More land. Yeah, we're, we're going to go ahead and concede here. Yep. Opponent was going to destroy the rest of our lands. Uh, yeah, so pretty fun uh, land destruction deck in Standard. That actually worked pretty well. It's uh, It could be pretty slow. Uh, it probably doesn't win against aggro. All right, so there you have it with Elemental Tribal. Uh, an interesting deck. We didn't get the best of draws there in those last few games. The first game went pretty well. Uh, and you can kind of see the value of creating so many bodies with Tillanali Summoner. Uh, and that's kind of the main goal. So the things I would say that you want to do with this deck is I would get a full four of, of Tillanali Summoner. I, I didn't have the rares available, but I still wanted to play the deck. And I was going to like try out a couple of things. So I, I kind of forced in the Sylvan Awakenings. Uh, which can be pretty powerful. Like I, I actually like those as the two finishers. So I would have four of Tillanali Summoner. I think the two of Sylvan Awakening is right. Um, I would, I think maybe a couple more Metallic Mimics. But otherwise, I think this is pretty good. I, I, I do like this deck. It's super fun. The Skizix can be really powerful in this deck because they can get buffed, swing in for a lot of extra damage at the end. Anyway, I, I, what, tell me down in the comments below what you guys think of the deck, what things you would change about it, uh, <laughs> if you like the idea of it at least. Uh, and if you like the video, please give me a like, uh, subscribe if you haven't already, and thank you guys so much for watching my content. I appreciate it, and we will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.